So this patient's in sinus rhythm at the moment. Let's just keep an eye on it there. Now the patient's now gone into uh, ventricular fibrillation. And in ventricular fibrillation, there's fast, you know, the machine's alarming to tell me, that's good, I had noticed. So in ventricular fibrillation, there's fast, chaotic, uncoordinated contraction of areas of the myocardium, different bits of the myocardium doing its own thing. It's twitching and quivering. And in this rhythm, there's no effective cardiac output. The blood pressure is going to be zero. Now, the causes of this can be ischemic heart disease, such as myocardial infarction, severe or congenital heart disease, electrolyte imbalance, rapid changes in the levels of potassium or calcium in the blood, for example. It could be electrocution, severe hypoxia. And we notice the rhythm is irregular with poorly formed wide QRS complexes. And I would certainly classify this as a coarse ventricular fibrillation. But because we're not treating it, it will become finer over time. We'll get a finer ventricular fibrillation. So now we can see it's becoming finer. It's not as, the amplitude is less than it was. And the finer ventricular fibrillation is harder to treat. So we can see it's much finer now. And the longer we don't treat this, the finer it will tend to become. the finer it is, the more difficult it is to respond to defibrillation. This version is quite a lot coarser now, so it should respond to defibrillation more readily. Patient, of course, in ventricular fibrillation is going to be very rapidly unconscious, no pulses, agonal or no respirations. As a first aid treatment, we would have to give CPR, but then the treatment for fibrillation is electrical defibrillation.